Hi and welcome to Metaphysical Ministry International. I'm Reverend Allie Bierman and I welcome you to this spiritual gathering. What in the world is a metaphysical ministry? Well, first of all, we are not involved with any kind of religious sect or religious doctrine. And what we do is we help you to understand and experience more of the totality of what really exists out there that you can't see or taste or touch or smell or feel because those are the world that you can only experience with your five senses. And the fact is you're experiencing less, less than 1% of what exists out there. So in metaphysics, we go beyond into something, the bigger picture. I begin each week with a happy share. That's something that left you feeling good or feeling happy. Well, this week, I received a really, really cool gift in the mail. Totally wasn't expecting it. See, I keep a journal, a special kind of journal that I write every day. And I was down to my last page. I was thinking, what am I going to use for my journal two days from now? So I go to the mailbox two hours later, and there's this package. And the package return address is The Universe Knows. And I open it, and there's a black leather journal inside. And stamped on the front are the words, Make a Difference. And enclosed is a very beautiful note card saying, Be the Change. With quotes from Mahatma Gandhi, who said, Be the change you want to see in the world. Well... I thought this can only come from two people, and I called one of them, and she said, well, I wish I had sent it, but it didn't come from me. And the other one, I thought, mm, I don't know, but I'm going to share with her that I got it. And she wrote back to me and said she sent it. Well, the timing couldn't have been better. How could she possibly have known that I was going to use it two days later to write my journal? So that left me feeling really happy, and the thing about a happy share is I get to experience all those good feelings all over again. Now you may be aware that I usually do this video outdoors in front of some of the very, very beautiful flowering bushes that are on my property. Well, I opened the door today, and the same odor was there that was there last night, and it's the scent, it's not a scent, it's an odor of fire, of smoke. And it turns out that one of the not so great things about living in the high desert is the summer fires. So there's another fire burning, there's a big smoke cloud out there, it's hard to breathe, I don't know how we're going to do the outdoor potluck that we're scheduled to have today. But the fact is that there are 400 people out there, there are all kinds of warnings for people who are doing river sports because trees that are weakened by the fire just might suddenly fall into the rivers. So I ask you please to send your energy to southwest Idaho to protect the forests and especially to protect the 400 plus workers who are out there battling the fire and I have a number of friends who do that. I never lived any place where there were usual wildfires, so I never had so many friends who were firefighters. Thank you. And now, this week is all about a meditation, and some of my favorite meditations come from this book by Edward Lemberger, Alphabet Treats. A to Z Nuggets of Nourishment for Spiritual Consumption, and I'll tell you exactly where you can get this book. So if you want to just take a moment and get comfortable, you don't have to close your eyes. You don't really have to worry about lying down or whatever position you're in. Be comfortable. So this is called Absolute Self-Worth. All of love, all of life, all of truth, all of beauty, all of joy is here now. As much as I can believe in and embody is available to me. I am connected, secure in the knowledge that I possess unlimited access to divine flow. And just by virtue of my being here, 
I am worthy to receive every blessing that Source has intended for me, for I am here by divine appointment, an equal partner in this thing called life. Absolute self-worth personified. I am important to Source, and I feel, embody, and live this knowledge. No external conditions have any bearing whatsoever on my internal embodiment of absolute self-worth. I know it. I feel it. I live it. I am it. I am internally grateful for it. And I thank you, Universe. If you're on the ministry page and you look up there, you will see a page called Hold a Space For. Holding a space for is helping somebody to manifest something they envision, want in their lives that's not there yet. It could be things like a college course they really want, but they don't know where to find it or how to pay for it. Maybe it's a new car. Maybe it's a different job. Maybe it's a new kind of relationship. Whatever it is, if there's something you want to hold a space for, and you want us to join you so that the thought form will be bigger, and therefore you can manifest it sooner, just go ahead, scroll down, and fill in your request. It will appear down there. It will also appear up there, well, on that page when you click there. And what you do is you come back at least once a week and tell everyone you know to go there. Read each name and the request that follows it. You don't have to know the person. Their name is there. And Spirit, Source, knows who the person is. So by adding your thoughts and wishes, the person who requested it, and it can be you, will be able to experience it in divine timing if it's in their highest and best interest. Again, I thank you for joining me here today. And I appreciate your going down below, clicking like and share, and spread the word because you can only experience a smidgen of life with those five senses. But there's so much more to know, and so much more to enjoy, and so much more to experience. It's all about metaphysics. Enjoy a wonderful week. Blessings.